Welcome to the 10 minutes of code for the TI Innovator Hub. Over the next few minutes, I'll show you where to find and download the online TI Innovator System Getting Started Guide, how to prepare your TI Inspire CX handheld, how to connect your handheld to the TI Innovator Hub with TI Launchpad Board, and some tips and tricks to help you and your students start programming in no time. I'll refer to the online TI Innovator System Getting Started Guide throughout this video. Just click the icon at the bottom of this page. It might be helpful to open it now. Now, make sure the calculator operating system is a version 4.3 or higher. From the home screen, select Settings, then select Status. If you need to update the handheld operating system, please visit the TI Inspire CX handheld page on education.ti.com. When your calculator is ready, use the Mini A to Mini B USB cable that came with the TI Innovator Hub to connect the devices. Insert the connector labeled B into the TI Innovator Hub and the A connector into the handheld. The instructions are on page eight of the Getting Started Guide. Turn on your calculator, and if the LED on the hub glows green, you're ready to start coding. If you don't get the green light, check the simplest thing first. Is your calculator turned on? Still no green light? Disconnect and reconnect the mini USB cable. This is important. The ends are not reversible. Make sure the A connector is in the A port on the calculator and the B connector is in the B port on the hub. The easy way to remember is that the Bs go together. The B connector goes to the hub. Also, make sure the A connector is fully seated in the calculator port. No metal should be visible. You can find more troubleshooting tips beginning on page 29 of the Getting Started Guide. Now, for a few tips and tricks to help your students get the most from their coding experience. Tip one, there are a couple ways to create a template for your program. You can press the dock key, then select Insert, Program Editor, New. Another way to create a template is Menu, Functions and Programs, Program Editor, New. Tip two, build your code using the commands in the hub menu. This saves time and helps ensure you're using the correct command spelling and syntax. Open the hub menu by selecting menu, then hub. Tip three, save your program on the handheld by selecting the menu key and selecting check syntax and store, then check syntax and store. There's a lot more information, including instructions for setting up and using your TI Inspire CX software to code, starting on page 16 of the Getting Started Guide. Now you're ready to start writing code to control the LEDs and speaker that are built into the TI Innovator Hub. Good luck and happy coding. Thank you.